Speaking about challenges, I'm trying to foster and retain so many positive memories that have been created during my time here. Uh, and there are many, many of those. Of course, when we started our work here, I will be quite frank, uh, our diplomatic presence here was still very much recovering from everything that happened after the breakup of former Yugoslavia, including even the fact that the mere physical presence in the sense of buildings and basic, the basic toolkit for diplomatic activity was absent. But I was fortunate enough to have a strong governmental backing, strong backing by the president of Serbia, and also to have a wonderful team. And then I was able to make many, many wonderful friendships here, uh, including with some of the people present in this room, which uh, helped me not only to um, survive these years in a positive way, but also to accomplish something meaningful. From a political point of view, to be very precise, the biggest challenge was the fact that well, two challenges, two main challenges. Uh, first of all, the lack of attention. With so many issues going on around the world, uh, with so many challenges from uh, the invasion of Ukraine to um, you know, global competition in various areas, uh, it's not easy to attract political attention from high profile decision makers to Balkan issues. And high level political attention is what is required if we are to resolve some of those legacy issues. We have so many fantastic things going on, great economic growth. The Balkans could be the next good news of Europe and of the Western world. But in order for us to accomplish this, we need political attention. And the challenge was how to persuade key stakeholders to engage more actively on this. And the second underlying issue, which is still present to, to a degree, is how to get people to take a fresh look at Serbia and the region. Because most of the people outside of the narrow circle of experts, and I want to commend some of them who are present here, uh, and to wish them success in their work, but apart from a narrow circle of experts, the broader political class has last heard about us during the 1990s and not in a particularly favorable light. So when I inform people here that Serbia is now a country that is at the forefront of uh, development of e-government, say, in our region, or it, that it has been the first country in our part of the world to introduce computer coding to elementary schools and um, things like that. This is not the type of information people expect. Uh, so it has been a tremendous challenge to get the people to take a fresh look uh, at things. But whenever we were able to do it, the results were also fantastic.